Alright, All right, we're live. Alright, do you want me to uh, hit you with the notes? Yeah, yeah, hit me with the notes, yeah. Okay. It was mainly three things that I nice. took from this, because I'm really proud of this set. It was, like, bittersweet, like, in the moment, because I'm just like, yeah. damn, reverse 3 0 But yeah. main things I got was how to, how to play at a high level for a full set. And the main mm. thing is, like, can I complete play a complete set? Like, not just, you know, I get a lucky bounce or two and beat him. Like, how can I play at this sort of level on a very, consi on a consistent basis? Because in this set, I felt like I, I was able to match Umar for pretty much, I'd say, four, like, four games. But just after the fifth game of Brand, I guess. And I want to learn, like, from mentally how to stay that way for an entire set. Uh, and then the other one is just how to edge guard Marth better because my edge guarding was a little, oh, it was a, it was a little lackluster. Mm. Uh, spe you're probably gonna see in this game one in particular. It was, it was a bit, la it was a bit lackluster. So I want to polish it up a little bit. And then the last one is um, when the set is a few hits away from from potentially ending. Uh, how do you stay zoned in or composed? Because I wouldn't say. I got nervous, but I got overconfident or I started thinking like, you know, the common saying of, oh my God, I'm about to beat this guy. Like, how do I get those sort of just intrusive thoughts out of my mind in a sense? Like, just yeah. to where I just don't think about it. I just, I just play. And that's really like the main thing that's I want hard. to get down because yeah. I lost game three and game four, both in last stock scenarios. And I'm like, okay the game plan has been working that's never really been the issue yeah, yeah. it's just like can i do it as a saying i've been going by recently it's like can i play four stocks and i felt like i was able to play three really good stocks but on the fourth stock i just wouldn't be able to finish it through and i want to figure out how can i play four stocks yeah that's 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 uh that's very interesting so a very uh mental side oriented kind of analysis mm -hmm. uh yeah, that's hard. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you okay? So, go, okay, we'll we'll talk about it a little more. But um, you have time to think about your emotions, mm -hmm. but think about you have time to do it after. You don't have to do it during. You know, like tell yourself that uh, you basically just. I don't want to say you should ignore your, don't ignore your emotions, but at least say like, Hey, um, I'm feeling this right now. I can feel this after the set right now. It's not, it's not helping me. I need to think about the Marth on this Marth on the screen. Like think about the need, melee. Yeah. Think about the melee. Don't not only think about the melee, but you can redirect yourself to like a one, one, like a matchup, um, hint or like a matchup tip that you, that you know about this matchup. Even if it's not totally applicable, basically, if you put your mind back to the to like, okay, there's a Marth on the screen, not there's an Umar on the screen, not there's a this set on the on online, right? Mm -hmm. Like go, you can even go back and say like, okay, uh, when Marth misses a fourth smash, I like to knee punish something really simple, anything mm -hmm. that takes you back to melee. You know. Okay. Uh, that I'm, that, that I'm takes writing... your mind away from the 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 set, you know. Because mm -hmm. what you should be thinking about is the matchup, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... The, the, I wrote two things down for this already. It's think about the melee and matchup, and then uh, take it back to melee. Yeah. Because, like... I that's been, This has been, like, a long-time thing, but, like, I, I'm finally coming to the realization of, like... I'm learning to see it more objective, yeah rather yeah. than subjective or emotional because i will say for a long time and i'd say definitely to some extent i would still lead as an emotional player for mm. better or for worse it was also really good but it was also i would say detrimental at times and gotcha i really it's just like in this day and age right now I, I can't think too much about the emotion even though i'd like to but i just i yeah. have to just i have to learn to I wouldn't say cut it off, but just like, you know, put it into a more objective picture. And yeah. that's always been difficult for me. But in this set, like, mm -hmm. it was the first time I think I felt like I was conscious of just playing it objectively. Mm -hmm. And 
it felt really good even after losing and it you know it felt it sucked to lose it felt yeah. good because i'm like okay there's like i'm not led by emotion that's not why i'm beating him i'm yeah. just out i'm outright out playing him and um like you're gonna probably see in the set there's like small things especially in this game one that happened where i just kind of i mentally pieced it together and i'm more proud about that with this set more than any mm. other set i've ever had with umar because it felt like i wasn't led by my emotions for maybe the first time and maybe nice. ever like yeah, it felt good, like yeah. i was just i was just going in it's been hard to reroute my thinking yeah. to that but this was the first time i'm like okay this is actually this can totally work and i should yeah. try to just you know look at this set in particular and like how can i just keep shifting that mindset towards that because obviously it's been it's been working i mean i took him to game five yeah. it's clear that it worked definitely definitely yeah if you can find ways to make it about the melee right mm -hmm. and you, you're allowed to feel as many emotions as you want like after the set you know you're totally allowed to you know yes you're even allowed to feel them during mm -hmm. as long as you're you're kind to yourself and say okay hey your emotions like i i'm not ignoring you i'm just letting you guys know you guys can chill for a second like i'm gonna take care of this first you know yeah and that's the other thing i have to balance as well is that like i either will cut off the emo the emotion yeah. entirely mm. so i'm writing this down right now acknowledge the emotion but don't let it control you yeah yeah because exactly that's a great way to put it because like there were times like especially in games three and four where my mind is like the set was right there you know i i had it one yeah. but i wasn't like too kind of myself i'm just like just just keep fighting pretty much and right right it's been a hard thing to overcome and it it sucked to lose in this fashion that's other, the other reason why i want to go over it because mm. i think i outplayed him for very well especially like right right so i i I know it's like it's not it's not not too much about the gameplay in this set. It's more so yeah about my sense. mental, and then just like later on, and Umar finally adjusted, and then just he clutched it out, and that's where that experience comes in, where he's yeah, probably definitely. has had his back to the wall many times in different for sure, and he's ways. felt exactly how you felt, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a good point. Uh, also, yeah, for sure. Also, I want to ask you a question before we get started. You can think about it. Don't answer right now. But when this happens, what part of your game suffers the most? Okay. Is it your edge guarding? Is it your neutral? Is it your combos? Like, which part, you know? Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm going to write that watch. down. What part okay. um, of your game uh, suffers? Because I'll think about this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as we get later on so what part of the game stops the most when the mental breaks yeah yeah because everybody's different right like yeah. for i can i can combo even if i'm nervous like i can edge guard even if i'm nervous but i can't really my neutral sucks right or something you know this is weird people are different so just yeah. just be aware okay yeah. i'll probably give All you right. an answer on that later on in the set i have a vague answer of maybe sure what yeah. that is because i am aware of some of the things like i'll list off one that i like to just rush in constantly mm, okay good so, so your patience yeah my patience will go away yeah. and i'll just want to grab and just get anything okay so that's okay. probably the first thing but i think it's best to start the set because there's probably more sure. okay, that cool. even I, that i know but also may also don't know okay cool. but let's hit get into it now, let's okay. go back to the very beginning <laughs> That was a sick ass grab. Jesus Christ! Nice, nice recognition on the di and beautiful. Oh, I missed a turn. I that was meant yeah, to be a, a back Okay, that's fine. I understand. Okay, all right. I like this so far. Beautiful. I like this. Respecting him. Okay, that was awkward. Okay, so this is the one thing I don't particularly like here is um, non fast hold back here is a little weird here. Right. The knees are hitting, but the, I don't know if a back air is going to hit here, you know? What do you think would be uh, better in this case? Like, do you think I should just do, like, late fastball I, back air or late fastball up air? I think either either if you back air, you're going to late, late fastball. But I don't think you even have to turn your back towards him. 
just stay in uh, front of him. Yeah, long, keep your front in front of him because what you have access to when you're when you're facing him is you have tilts, you have jabs, you have um, I have grab. You have grab right too. So turning your back here is a little to me. You give up a lot. You give up. You lose access to a lot of your other other stuff. You know. Yeah, and I'm also I'm also at zero. That's the other thing. That's true too. Yeah, we can hold down here and see what he's doing. You know, hold down and down tilt. Even if it's Umar and he knows how to get around it, you got to at least, you know, at zero, you have to like, yeah, use that percent too. Okay. Do you want me to just write don't back turn at zero? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't back turn. Also, think in mind here. How many times did you do this back air? One. Okay. Two. Two. That's three. three. Yeah. So he's seen it. Yeah. It's very repetitive. It's yeah. Like yeah, he, he, he caught on. He knows it's coming, right? After the third time, he probably he, after the second time, he probably knows, right? So that's why we have to mix up our options here, right? And you, what you did, a good job of what? Look, look yeah, the look, knee. Look, look, okay, you did down tilt there, good job. You did dash dance knee, there back air, extra dash dance knee, right? Soft hit, but it's still okay. Yeah, you did an extra dash dance to mix it up. There, there you didn't dash away, you just did the knee in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, the back air. The ways you the ways you're setting up your knees are awesome, right? But the mm -hmm. way you're setting up your back here is really like too obvious, right? Yeah, I guess the question I have is that this is something that at least when me and Umar play, this is, it may be different depending on the mark because there is a lot of player on player stuff that happens yeah, when Umar and I fair. play. Are, yeah. So like he probably knows my tendencies more than probably more than uh, any other player. Like right. probably like I would only say like. <laughs> There's there's only a few people I'd say that know my tendencies more than Umar or be the equivalent yeah. of it. So like yeah, he, there's gonna be some player on player stuff. So sure, that's good I mean stuff. I would say the one thing is that like when my options because that was like three or four different things I did and then plus yeah. the back airs. Yeah. Like, do you think like when those options start getting exhausted, it, should I just default? Like, what would I need to? default to it or should i not worry about the default because i felt like i exhausted a lot of options there and then eventually yeah. like I, I guess the thing is like I, I get very stubborn and like that that sort of backer yeah. thing is a, what i fell back on like, yeah for sure i mean it is frustrating because think about this you got the read you need him right yeah i didn't get hard hit but it was the right idea it was the right idea right so don't like that right there's information it's good you know mm -hmm like that worked right don't you don't have to stop doing it you hit i think you you made him block or get hit by knee like three times right mm -hmm. so that that's good right um yeah like you can just keep doing that like so just not knee, so yeah. just not really worry about it just because like yeah. it, it was working it's just wrong hit yeah just the wrong yeah just the wrong hit right mm -hmm. and then um you know we obviously got to hold down here so that's yeah. Okay. I think you cut a butt grab there. Uh. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. Did he dash? Yeah, that definitely has potentially butt grabable. Yeah. I'm really happy I had I hit that tech. Yeah, that was actually a beautiful retreat to the top platform as well. The shield. Right here, the patience mm -hmm. to the jump slightly back. That was freaking gorgeous. Okay. Nice. Caught him. Yeah, I miss a knee. That uh, could have been up air or knee. Yeah, you missed a turnaround here, I think, too. Yeah, I oh, meant no, to no, do no. I, I accidentally that was that jab was on accident. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful, Nathan. Oh no, what's that? That meant to be up throw knee. Like yeah. Punish is a yeah. little sloppy. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice dash. Oh, okay, you gotta hit that. Yeah, I'm not turning okay. around. Yeah, you're not turning around. Like, and I knew this instantly when I rewatched the set. I knew instantly in this situation, just I'm just not turning around. Yeah, well, my question is, is you this should be like a muscle memory thing. Hit off, mm -hmm. dash, turn around, right? Hit yeah. off, I think, to the edge, right? I think in this, like, I'm not even trying to come up because I think literally just I fucked it up. <laughs> And yeah. I just, okay. I don't know if it was nerves or what, but just, yeah, I knew this was just completely, I played this completely wrong. Gotcha. It, it just, in every capacity, I played this wrong. 
Yeah, but okay. My question is: Is do you have a good sequence for? Let's say you get a hit off the ledge. Do you have a good sequence to like turn your turn around? I mean, usually I would just do the pivot. I do a pivot. Okay. Um, a pivot or just like just a regular turnaround, okay. and just. It maybe i just don't know in this situation like it could be heat of the moment or whatever but either yeah. way i just i just didn't turn around because gotcha. usually what i do is that i would uh, turn around and either go to uh, either grab the ledge or you know wait to see what the mark does and wait dash back maybe do a hack stash or something like that uh, like i see okay. i have a sequence okay but cool. i just wanted to see okay For sure. i have like a sequence but i definitely need to revisit it because like I rewatched this interaction. And I'm just mm -hmm. like I flat. I, I flat out just. This is just not how you do it. This is just not how you edge card right, right. mark. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Like I knew I played this really bad. <laughs> All right. So let's let's take a look at this. Like that's probably it's probably bearable if we get a better side B lag. Yeah. So now back here, right? But also the one thing you really this is the biggest thing against Mark. Is you have to realize when he's hanging on the ledge, um, he his invincible wave land is extremely hard. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, it's like four gallon, I think it is something like that. It's so, super low, right? So you don't want to give him any space here, mm -hmm. because what 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 can he threaten you with here? A grab? No, not if he's hanging on the ledge. He's in the air, right? What, like, if you stand right here, and he's right here, what can he do? What can he do right here? He can aerial you, right? That's probably the best he can do. Maybe like ledge fair. Ledge fair, right? So the the issue with ledge fair is is what it's crouch cancelable, right? Mm -hmm. He has to hit you with a hard hit. He has to tip you in order for it to do anything, right? Mm -hmm. He's not. I mean, he might be at tipper range. He might be able to space it. But if he spaces it, he's not going to get a combo off it because he has to like drift back, you know. Mm -hmm. so marth marth if you give him any stage he's just he's just gonna take it here right like okay i'm gonna write this yeah, down real quick is don't give marth space when he cliffhangs yeah when he cliffhangs it's so important you know if if he aerials you and you're holding down he can't combo you right yeah worse the worst it is is that the best way i can describe it is um it's like a get off me yeah like that's the best way I can describe the situation is that the ledge forward air or the ledge air or ledge off air, whatever, or even the get yeah. attack, they're all just get off me tools and like yeah. just to like you know command the space, right? And, and so think, go ahead. I could probably uncle punch like a, just a couple states oh, yeah. of of for, marks for sure. just doing this. Yeah, and and the good thing about this is that the mix up to this is so easy from your side. The mix up is just shield, shield or CC depending on the percent. yeah shield or CC. That's what they have to read, right? And so if you shield once and they aerial into you, it's a free grab, right? Yeah, so they, like, if they aerial in, I just grab. If they aerial yeah. in, like it drift in, I grab. Exactly. This is why it's so it's not that big of a deal to 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 really crowd Marth here, you know, mm -hmm. unless he's like obviously he's umar he's gonna do some nice stuff to get around it but uh it's not a very situ scary situation for you at all you know mm -hmm. i think yeah. a lot of times i get scared because the common marth you know the marth thing where they grab and they kill you because they just kill you at a low percent yeah but how is he gonna grab you it is he has to get the fair first or the up air he, first he has to get on the stage first right yeah he he, he needs to get on stage to even have the yeah. option right if you don't even let him get on stage, then he can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So, I mean, I guess I'm going to just write this down. So it's, uh, I, I'll, I'll repeat it again. So don't give Marth uh space when, when he cliffhangs, uh, yeah. uncle punch it. Is there anything else really I should add or not really? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause it, this situation comes up a lot and I feel like, yeah. um, <laughs> I call, I, I call it the, because the, I, I kind of mean I meme call it because I'm like I don't want to eat the glue because the me the meme of like Mar uh, the Marth the Marth players are glue eaters name back in the day uh, and I'm just it. like okay just don't eat the glue yeah that's, <laughs> I'm just like you know because that's exactly what they want in yeah, a lot of ways really and I just I, this happens a lot like I just see it in like whenever I play Yamasaki it's kind of like that or yeah typhoon's another one like to where they just 
like if i get there and i get grabbed i can just potentially die but i had to yeah. remember to wouldn't say just have no fear but just like crowd the area to where it makes the ledge uncomfortable for them it does yeah it's yeah it's definitely not fox you know so okay cool let's keep going Yeah, yeah, that was good. Basic. That was good on him. Yeah. Good refresh. Good. Oh, you messed up there, but I think you got this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is sort of like the rhythm I I talked about. So like, at least with Umar, my, at least in recent sessions, my rhythm gets kind of thrown off mm -hmm. when he does it. When he does it, like, is usually my rhythm is. I ledge grab, refresh maybe once or twice. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Throw in a hack stash. Throw in a hack stash in there. The occasional neutral get up because like the neutral get up is a good mix up. Yeah, it or is, the double jump or the double jump mm -hmm. thing. Like I have a couple tools, but it's generally ledge refresh into potential hack stash or neutral get up, mm -hmm. and then I react accordingly, whether it's through stomping him, uh, kneeing him, back airing him, and like. I don't know why in this set, just the rhythm was just off. And like, this is sort of like another one of those interactions. Like to go back to the beginning of it real quick. So I get him off stage. Um, like just something like that would occur. And then okay. like, I mean, do you, think, do you think the grab was fine? Like the grab was fine. Do you I think, think it, it was fine. I think it was fine. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind this. Uh, the grab was fine. It was a really good air dodge, kind of mm -hmm. difficult to punish, but you got there beforehand, so you could punish. So great. like ledge back air, the... ledge knee. Yeah, I would have liked uh yeah back air or something, but um because okay, think about this. If you're hanging here and he up bees you, or he fares you and you're at zero, um you can double jump, double jump up air him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tip him. No, no, I mean, if he hits you here, right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, if he hits me. Never mind, never mind. If he hits you, you can still, you can, you can retaliate, because you're at zero. Yeah. You know, you're not going to get stage spiked or anything. You get a guaranteed punish if he hits you. Mm -hmm. Um. So, you don't have to get up early. Okay, I'm going to write this down. You hit at zero, um, off stage, uh, off stage by Marth. You can retaliate. Yeah. Cause, cause, yeah, there's just not enough hits done. You can just kill him afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. You can do that to like ten percent or something, you know. So, yeah, if he fares you or tries to up B, you know, he's he can't, right? He, he can't even. He just, yeah. But yeah, you could have ledge chop here. But anyway, uh, you didn't soft knee there for some reason, or you didn't go for the knee here. Yeah. Uh, do you think it was? I was at the point. So like. This sort of range, actually, it's hard to get the dash. You, you have to dash knee. Yeah, it's a little, it's, I see it. Yeah, it, it's hard, yeah. Yeah, if you, da if you dash knee, um, you can uh, you can get it. Okay. But um, uh, but it, the, at the spacing it's at, it's really hard to do. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess, like, do you think four throw? Uh, do you think four throw is good? Do you think, you think the four throw is fine? Yeah, I think four throws would be actually really good here, especially because he's not really DIing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like the four throw. I like that you didn't pummel though. That's that's super nice of you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember the the pummel no pummel thing that you mentioned a lot. Yeah. Where cool. um, where you uh like, yeah, just the, the no pummel the pummel no pummel. So cool. like it's just a concept. Like so four throw, it's it's not a big deal then. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. All right, see what you do here. Like, do you think the neutral get up is fine? Like, there are times where you can do it. No, like... I don't like neutral get up here at, when you're at zero. Okay. Because if he hits you, it doesn't matter. Right? Mm hmm. You just kill him, right? You think it's better if I just hold it? Just hold the ledge and see what yeah, he does? Yeah, just hold it. Just hold it, yeah. And then maybe get up attack or something? Yeah, I a mean, get up attack I like, yeah. Okay, so I'll just write this down. Not ideal to neutral get up at low percent. Yeah, low percent, exactly, yeah. Okay. And le because the reason why people neutral get up, like Spacey's neutral get up against Marth, is because they have a move quick enough after they get hit to, like, shine, mm -hmm. right? Or they can neutral get up into crouch cancel and, like, uh, 
do something, right? But Falcon doesn't. Re- I mean, he can, but he can't really. You know, it, it's like the best he has is maybe neutral get up four till or neutral get up. Yeah, stone. exactly. Like, like those, those are the only yeah. two. Is the, there's like the only two that are like pretty good. Yeah, and they're kind of slow, you know. So mm-hmm. compared to Shine, so okay. Okay. Nice, good coverage. Yeah, oh, and no, there's the forward thing. Yeah, and then you need to get up again. Yeah. Yeah, I tried down. That was meant to be a stomp. That down smash okay. was not intentional. And there's, uh, there's me. Back here's again. There's me just looking forward yeah. again for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got. Him. <laughs> right into a grab. Yeah. Good, good job, good patience. Okay. You gotta be careful of this. This is this is not a free up air here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just gotta recognize this. This is just a bait for him. He's just going on the platform to bait you. Yep. Okay. And good job not rolling. Ooh, that barely hit. That yeah. was unfortunate. And that was a bit an ambition stop, like it's yeah, sort of it what I was talking about, like in the neutral, like I get a bit fishy, like I'd match it, but then I do mm-hmm. like it would almost feel like he's waiting for me just to fuck up. Which I could see that. I, yeah. I, I, I like and don't like, and this is kind of goes back to why I talked about the Blarg set of NorCal just doesn't want to approach. Mm, yeah. Is like yeah. that's the sort of thing. It felt like he was just waiting for me just to throw that option because I would I've done it so many times. Sure, and yeah. He's got he's gotten a reward out of it. And, yeah. like, it's trying to train myself to have that discipline instead of just, like, because I don't want to go back to, like you said, resorting back to the full-on defense can't play. Yeah, because I Because that's just, it, it could get me far, yes, but it shouldn't be a cornerstone of, like, what makes me good. It shouldn't be, like, the cornerstone of it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the issue is here is is I think we we went over this. Remember, like, yeah, you need to just mix up. Well, all, that spacing. I don't think that stomp was particularly bad, but just mix in an extra dash dance. Just think about that in the back of your head when you're playing against somebody that likes to wait a lot or is really patient. Just think extra dash dance. You know, just one. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down. Just mix in extra dash dance as timing mix up. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Yeah, that's just a good like reminder that like okay, I'm playing somebody patient. Yeah. Okay. Like it wasn't a terrible stomp, but it's just the timing of it. Okay, your nares are really good. Oh, that was crazy. Good job. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, beautiful. Okay, it's a good adjustment. It's a good adjustment. Yeah. Hey. Very good adjustment. That's going to be up there. Uh, hang on, I want to see go back real quick. This right here. This was a good knee. Mm-hmm. You don't have to dash away here, you know? Yeah, that's a tendency. I yeah. usually will either do the dash away or the roll, the roll away. Should I just, right. like, knee again, just trust the spacing? Yeah, yeah. His shield's really low, too. You might be able to shield stab or jabs or something. But like knee like, in there. Yeah, or knee and air and double knee. Yeah, anything like that. Or knee into just uh, back uh, side B, like go behind him side B. Yeah, that also too. Just cross him up. Yeah, yeah, just cr- yeah, cross him up. Yeah, because that knee is so like so good and meaty, you know. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> just, I mean, I'm gonna just write this down. Remember to trust spacing. Uncle punch it. Just remember yeah. to trust it because I just didn't trust it there. Yeah. Okay. Tech chase. Good car chance one. Yeah, I need right, to get. Thing... I need to. I, the problem go. is, I, I need to hit the tech. Yeah. Like it's fine. Umar and I, when we debriefed about this, yeah. our first thing was, I need to hit that tech mm. because otherwise, uh, this stuff doesn't happen. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, this is just a net play set. By in case you're wondering, it's just a casual net play set. Oh, that's good to know. Actually, okay. Oh, it's cool. Good idea. Oh, that was sick. Oh, beautiful movement. Oh, yeah, that's gonna do fade back knee. Ooh, almost. Okay, you got away with it there. 
Ugh, that neutral get up, dude, is killing me, dude. Like, what can I do instead? Because I mean, there are times where I, it's good. I, I don't think it's like there are terrible. times where it's good, but you might as well just get up attack. Light hand, so go back. I, I just want to go back and double check it. So. Yeah, just uh, neutral gap, and I could have not even just like done. The, I could have done neutral gap and then way dash back to ledge. Yeah, you could have done that. Yeah, but th the neutral get up to me is you might as well just wave land too. You just do a hack stash, dude. Just hack stash it. Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done the same thing, really. Yeah. Um. Like, I don't know what to write for it because I feel like there definitely should be something. I'm not, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Because well, like, just don't. What 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 I would think here is why okay. First of all, do you have to grab the ledge here? Mm -hmm. Why not? You were doing or, the Marth Killer, right? Uh, I was. I think. Can keep going a little bit. I did. and I stopped. And you stop. But I, I, my question is, why stop? If he forward airs, I um. So this in this situation, if he forward airs, so like, okay. say I'm in the Marth Killer. If yeah. he forward airs, it pushes me off to where I grab the ledge. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. Right? But at this range, he can't reach you with the forward air unless he double jumps. That's true. Okay. It burns It burns his jump. It burns his double jump. Yeah, let's see if he used it. He doesn't use no, it, so no. he would have yeah, he never to... Did. Yeah. So that's good if he does burn it, because you're on the ledge and he has to up B immediately, right? Yeah. But here, he's able to use his jump down here. Right? To scare you. Okay. So, all right. Make Marth use his double jump off stage. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But the thing is, if the Marth killer is what you're going for, like, um, let, let him play around it first, you know? Okay. Just right. Don't just... Just, yeah. Don't just assume he's going to, he's just, you know? Yeah. Make him forward air you, you know? So Yeah, so but um uh so make Marth play around there. Uh play yeah. around off stage. Yeah. Uh off stage. And I agree, like Kellen so like the the other thing as well with this sort of situation why I do the stomp is if that Marth is like a little bit lower or like a little closer to the ledge, the stomp hits. So mm -hmm. In this state, I guess, like, would I need, um, like, when they do this sort of fayback, that's when the Marth Killer comes in instead of the Stomp? Yeah, well, I mean, the Stomp is, like, your last resort. The Stomp is not, like, um, basically, you try to get, okay, you, you stall, you stall, you stall. If you find that you can't grab the ledge in time, that's when the Stomp is good. Okay. You know, the stomp is not like the default option. The, the default option is edge hogging or or punishing him up for up being high on the ledge and then you just like rinse, repeat, and eat, right? Yeah. Uh, the stomp is just if you don't have time, which you didn't have time to grab the ledge here, right? Mm hmm. Like so after the Marth Killer thing. So it's like, it's not the worst thing in the world. I back aired him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but I think you did have time to grab the ledge here, right? Actually, let's see. You probably could have way dashed down real quick, or way dashed yeah. back real quick, or just done like the drop down and then just re grab it. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I just, I just the neutral get ups just, just tough. And I die as a result. All right, don't give him, don't give him space, don't give him space here. Yeah, I'm fishing for the back air. Yeah, but you're giving him so much space. Now we can get on stage here, mm -hmm. right? basically you're at a point where if he does anything unsafe you punish him if he hits you right mm -hmm. yeah like i could foretell and he just dies yeah you die but the fact that you're in the air just doesn't give you any punish options you know mm -hmm. there's no real line of defense i can't shield and i can't cc yeah exactly right so. i get the knee though yeah nice i like it good your movement's good oh messed up grab okay I like what you're doing here. Okay. We talked about this also with the up tilts. And it's yeah. funny. Uh, you remember what we talked about? So every Marth does it. Uh, what you yeah. told, 
every mark does it in some capacity. Some are more obvious than others, or some are much better at sticking with that. But I've come to the conclusion that I mean, in you were you hit it right on the head that every mm-hmm. mark does it, and yeah, Umar is no exception. He will do that same up tilt thing as well, just in different yeah, variations. Definitely. Yeah, and I, I want to see you mix in some side Bs uh, in your neutral. Okay. I know you're giving Umar a lot of respect, but you got to throw it out, especially this early in the set. Like, throw it out, you know. Do uh, you, you think it's worth writing that or not? Really, just. I think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Just re- remember, side B exists. Yeah. Remember, I mean, just exactly. That's exactly right. Just remember it exists. You know. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that was so fucking sick. Okay, I don't mind that knee, but remember, extra dash chance really important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing mixing in like any. Extra yeah, dash that chance. that could have been a dash chance knee, and I could have just traded or something. Yeah, yeah, I know you're getting excited, but like remember, you always gotta mix up your timing a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I'll probably write that down when I get excited. Remember to mix it up. Yeah. Because like, w- like a, a lot of um of like how at least in recent mem- like this was probably the closest like our sessions had been where it was pretty mm. close. But the previous sessions have all been super momentum heavy. Where there have been games where I damn near four stock Umar, but then there are games where he'll damn near four stock or four stock me gotcha and just like it'll be like that type of session where just like it swings so back and forth so like when i get excited remember to mix it up because like what'll happen is that one of us will just catch like the other person's rhythm and then just fuck the other person up until the rhythm is reversed it's been generally how just every me and umar session has gone at least at least for the past few months that's how it's gone so just when i get excited remember to mix up the timing yeah, I just mix up the timing a little bit, yeah. Because that's, you know what he did? Mm-hmm. When, you, when he realized that you weren't mixing it up, an extra dash chance or anything, all he did is stand in place and up tilt. Yep, he just waited for it. He just waited yeah. for me to do it. Exactly. Nice. Good. Oh, good. Good. That's exactly what I mean, Nathan. Yep. <laughs> you did not give him any space at the ledge. Look, he can't get up because mm-hmm. look where you are. You know, it's funny. It, when, in this moment, I knew that, like, even in the set, I knew that knee was really good. It was good, but Mark does not have the invincibility usually to, to, to like, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I clipped him. I clipped him. There. You clipped him, right? So, yeah, think about that. You're at 126. It's a little riskier to do that, but still, like, the concept. It's there. Here, right? It's there, right? You hit him with that knee. Yeah, and that stop, I don't think was bad. No, it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't bad. Like, is if I stop. stop him, he probably dies. Yeah. Okay, this is very common high level Mars stuff right here. Dash they always dash after this. They always dash in the middle because it goes over an aerial. Yep, he did it. it yeah. Forward air and then so, dash. Yeah, so you gotta be cognizant of that. Uh just just remember that, okay? So All remember right. if you attack the corner, you're they can dash through. So what I like to do here is non fast fall um knees. The reason why I don't fast fall is because it, the the hitbox stays slightly behind me too. Yeah, and then like it can catch him from behind, and it's like you can reverse knee, and reverse yeah. knee is not that bad either. If you reverse knee him, like they're sent to the other side. Yeah, but usually what I I think the most thing I do here is I just do fast fall up airs. Oh, the late fast like the late fast yeah. fall ones. Yeah, because remember at high percent, that's your safest fishing move. Mm-hmm. We always got to remember that fast fall up air is the safest fishing move for Falcon at high percent. You know. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so three point up air and then um I'm gonna call a three point up air and then okay. uh non fast fall knee. Yeah. Uh, knee when they attach in. Yeah, and I can probably because what I've been doing with my uncle punch save states is mm-hmm. I would basically mimic the situations that you told me, and okay. then like I'll do like I've done this before where like the with the up tilt situation save states. What I would do is that I would make them do a nair and then just up till afterwards. So like instead of like technical things, like I would just do those sort of concepts and just same thing here, just do 
Want fair in the corner, just dash forward or something of that capacity. Yeah, well, it's fine. But that's just information you have now. That, that was mm-hmm. a good play by him because that was the first time you did it. So just keep that in mind. It's not like a bad thing you did. It's just okay. that's just something they can do. Yeah. Good, I like that. Okay. Good dash dance. Good, Nathan. Look at those extra dash dances, dude. Mm-hmm. Look how much these pay off, dude. Look how much these extra dash dances pay off. They're huge. Yeah, got him to See? whiff right that's what you want you got to remember that you don't have to do that when you're at 133 you can do that the entire set right mm-hmm. yeah beautiful beautiful oh yeah a little bit of slop <laughs> okay and we gave him some space there which is fine i guess you're at 133 but i could maybe hand go back i want to see could i double need that i de- eh. it was i could i could have needed the up air that's probably what i could have done okay yeah Okay. Good. This is good. Good patience. Okay. See? Good. Good. Nathan. Very good. Okay. That's fine. That's pretty good. Melee. Goes good. Melee. Very good. Nice. Oh my god, Nathan. That was fucking fast. Oh, we gotta get that. Oh shit. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> That's how close that game was. Like it was insanely yeah, was tight. Good. Yeah, that was good. Okay, well that was good. So we just got two proof of concepts there, right? Mm-hmm. St- make sure you crowd them at the ledge and an extra dash dance, right? Those both paid off. Yep, I'm gonna just write that down at the end. Crowd ledge, uh, extra dash dance. All right, game two, I believe it. Yeah, game two is F. I mean, I like, I was really proud and like proud after that first game because I knew it was like, okay, if I can come back like from stuff like this, I know like I'm yeah, this is very good. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, keep this in mind. You okay? You've done that twice. Mm-hmm. If he up tilts it the next time you do it, yeah. Right, just look, just mental note. Good um, okay, okay, he's, he's nice adjusting that up. Yeah, but you know what? You're getting him back. Nice. Okay, grab, refresh. There's a neutral get. So yeah, there's a neutral get up. Yeah. Uh, hack, so. uh, hack stash it or Marth killer. Like, what's what's the deal here? The highest. So I want to see his high uh, again. Yeah, I think you hack stash. You just hack stash. Yeah. So let's see. So one, two good good yeah just hack stash if i hack stash it like because if i hack stash he has to either air dodge or up b yeah exactly yeah that's what i want yeah yeah i'm gonna just write remember remember to hack stash okay Okay, i want you to try no tech here when he four throws you at low percent yeah i want you to just try it because you've been teching the whole time so i know tech here at low percent would be really good all right i'm gonna just write remember to no tech um yeah. off of initial throw yeah because like um cool. like he hasn't uh shown he can jab reset reset yet yeah exactly yeah um i'm yeah. all right make him uh make him jab reset mm-hmm. um jab reset okay There it is. Yeah, everything has been attack. Yeah, nice, Nathan. Good. Neutral there. Okay, good. Okay, let's see if he... Uh, he can. He can. I think he can. Uh, yeah. Kellen, I think he can double stick uh, the eye up on Mark Jabry set. Yeah. Okay, really good, Nathan. I really love this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Go back to Connor's one game. sec. So back to the ledge situation. Did I give him a little too much credit? No, I think you're fine because you, you you took it back. You took it back. Look. Yeah, I did the wave line back as like a mix up. Yeah, so it was close. You almost got him there, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that was a good di by him. Yeah, it was a super good di. All right, but we got to remember this. Yep. So di is to ledge. Yeah. So um. I kind of I kind of gave him it for free with that fade back. I kind of gave him it. Yeah, you kind of set this up. It was kind of obvious, right? It was yeah. obvious that you were gonna. 
uh, it was very blatant that I was going to go with yeah, this spacing. You're pre- it's pre- you're pretty much just going to come in and knee, right? Yeah, yeah. Just don't like you want me to just write that down. And just don't make it too obvious, or you think it's not necessary. Yeah, don't make it down. too obvious, and you got to try your crouch gamble down tilt. You know. Yeah, don't make it. Uh, don't make it. Uh, too obvious. You're trying to knee. Yeah. Uh, trying to knee. Yeah, because that is a tendency I do a lot. I do a lot is that I do make it kind of a selling point that I'm gonna knee, and I can't do it because just it, better players are gonna telegraph it yeah. nine times out of ten. They're gonna yeah. You just did the last le- exactly. You just did the last ledge exchange. So mm-hmm. good, good lay to up bears. I love it. Good patience. Okay. Yeah, I think you messed up that roll, but. Good. Okay. Nice. Oh, big punish. Yeah, oh, I missed no. it. I missed the turnaround grab. But... Yeah, you got the grab though. Nice. Good delay on the nair. Very good. Very good. I like this. Okay, giving a little too space. Too much space here. Did okay. that dash back? What could I have done yeah, differently there? I think you just hold down, dude. Just hold down. Just, just hold down and just let let him try and fair me. Yeah, let him try to figure it out. Okay. Just right remember yeah. to hold down when he's cornered. Yeah. You gotta let him try to figure it out at least a couple times a set, right? Uh just hold Umar, he's good, he's gonna figure it out, but he might fuck up, you know? Yeah, when he's uh cornered. Um make uh make him see uh make him try to grab you. Yeah, exactly. Uh try or I'm gonna just make him make him try to beat your CC. Yeah. Yeah, because like I'm noticing that a lot of times I'm just giving I'm just giving him credit. Yeah, like, you are you not are for like Umar's credit. sense, but just like it could be fair, it could be a lot of things. It kind of goes back to what we talked about with the mental. Like, yeah. I guess it's like it's weird that like he's actually giving me it because I'm so used to not being given it, so I yeah. don't know how to respond. So like I'm, it, it goes back to like the objective thing that we talked about, like the sort of like subjective versus objective and this is yeah. where i have to think objectively instead of subjectively i'm like oh he's fucking this up i have to just i have to just go and take it pretty much i have to just go and yeah. take it instead of just you know yeah giving him it like yep. yeah like that's pretty much it. like i'm noticing just like just in this set like i i'm giving him a lot of credit where i've been yeah. outright just outplaying him exactly, exactly. so like it's yeah. all mental like it's not like it's my all play mental, is yeah it, like my play is not the issue it's like it's all mental what's happening here yeah just regular neutral okay you, no, like once again you're telegraphing this back here right how many times have we done it three one, one two. two like two or three times so yeah. one, two, that's three times. I did it three times there. Yeah. Just remember, Umar only needs two times to figure it out, you know? Yeah. I'll write that down. Just, you know, mental. Umar needs two times. Th- um, uh, Umar uh, only needs uh, two times uh, to figure it out. ironic because it, i took two games of the set so that's very <laughs> that's very funny <laughs> that <laughs> that that's how the set went yeah let's see a little too much credit here or do you think i could have grabbed the ledge while invincible you could have done that yeah but you know you're at zero gotta hold down right mm-hmm. give him too much space here yeah. Uh, playing pretty safe. Yeah, you're not holding down. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I meant to short hop up parrot. Yeah. Nice. Dead. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, he did the setup. So like that up throw forward smash, I'm not worried about. This is like something. Yeah, whatever. That that me- that's literally meta with Umar and I. He just pulled it out that time. So mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it like works around like 63 to 70 percent. So <laughs> it's funny because like that's like one of the like the real specific things is like okay, <laughs> when does he pull it out? And he pulled it out there. Yeah. So. Oh my god. Oh no. That was a tech flub. Oh no. Good. Oh my god, that was nasty. Oh, we messed it up. Good patience here. Good block. I like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're showing him a lot of nares. There it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, when are you gonna side B? Yeah, I did one. There we go. Oh, that was technically nasty. Um, side note, it probably doesn't matter, you might die anyway, but if you tech this, you should try to air dodge up. And that's something I don't do enough. <laughs> yeah. I just just try uh, try to tech air dodge more. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just whatever. Alright, I'll I'm gonna write it down anyway because I just I don't really have that in my arsenal. I usually would just auto tech up B, but I do know that exists. I just don't do, I just don't do it, but I should yeah. keep it in my arsenal. All right, let's see if he's dashing through. This is a mental note. You have to get this mental note. Anytime it goes under your aerial, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, not just, gonna let that happen again just like what uh what does mark do when he dashes through yeah well, when he dashes through just keep that as a mental note like okay i'm gonna do this aerial in place instead of at him this time you know yeah so i'll just write me- uh mental just call it um when does mark dash under you what uh change it up if mark dashes under you yeah exactly yeah uh change up timing uh when Marth. Uh, dashes under you know okay okay oh what the fuck are these dude you're getting so many of these weird light light hit knees yeah i was really surprised about that like i usually would get the hard hit but i got so many light hits like in this yeah, set in particular but yeah. it's now 2 well just yeah, you know like good. and i i knew this even so like before we start this i knew mentally like before even like right after i took that game i knew instantly i'm like the set's far from over i knew mm. even like in that moment i'm like this is gonna be the tough one it's gonna be game three it's yeah. gonna be story or fountain you know, just I I knew this this set was far from over even in this given moment. Sure, yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, that's good. Okay, but in between these, I would be what I would ask yourself is, what's the adjustment he's gonna make? What's the adjustment I'm gonna make? On this, when you're up two zero. Hmm. That's a question you should be asking. You know, to put your to put your mind frame also on the melee, right? What's one thing he's gonna change? What's one thing I think he's gonna change? Don't overthink it. Just be like, oh, he might. Um, he might do this more. He might, I don't know, do more nair or something, whatever. Okay. But in these big situations, you need to, you know, when you're about to win a game or, or when you're going to the last game or you're on the last, you know, whatever, it's just, it's just, it's a good, it's a good exercise to keep it like, okay, he's a good player, right? He's obviously going to make an adjustment here if he's down 2-0. Yeah, anyone one. Yeah. So just think about that. Think about, like, okay, what adjustment is he going to make, you know? Okay, so I wrote two things down for that. Is, uh, what's one thing opponent uh, opponent will change? And then what are you going to do uh, do to adjust? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just keep it like a 30-second conversation in your head, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What, maybe 10 seconds or something. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I meant to knee up there. Yeah, that's fine. It happens. Oh, so that's exactly what I mean, Nathan. Right here. So he up air, he up bees, 
and you're at 10 percent, it's not going to punish right but you mm -hmm. neutral get upped and then you crouch cancel which is cool but that the only reason that works on this stage because yoshi has a the blast zone is not you know if he goes too low he's going to die right and also the yoshi slope or like the yoshi's uh, slope and then also the yoshi's yeah. wall exactly yeah it's like so that's, that's, that's why that neutral get up here yeah but it doesn't work on every stage right mm -hmm. that was a good di by him oh well, that was that was amazing. a really tricky update yeah good catch on the roll oh okay okay and that's sort of and like you said that's where the yeah. neutral get up works right with the, on yoshi's it, it's okay right okay do you want me to just write neutral gap is okay on story or not yeah it's okay yeah it's not it's not the worst yeah i i, I don't mind it on yoshi's that much you okay know? neutral get up um is okay on story okay Mm, that was good name by him. Good block by you. Nice. Good job retreating. We got to be careful. This is something you like to do a lot. If you're on the side platforms, he'll, he'll always nair. Mm -hmm. He'll always nair. He always does this. Like um, he. Uh, this is something actually, like, when I'm at high percents, I notice yeah. it a lot more. But he does it even at low. Or just, yeah. like, on any side plat. Yeah. So this is why, this is where the extra dash chance on the side plat is really good. All right. Yeah. All right, just mental, mental out. He likes to nair in center. Yeah. Uh, mental. No. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You made it back. Okay. Nice. What the fuck? That was wacky. Good cross out there. Okay. You're definitely in control so far. Oh shit! There's that Naren Center again. Yeah, he likes Naren Center. Yeah. Oh, that was okay. crazy. Okay. Oh, that soft, weird soft light hit. hits, bro. Yeah. God damn, Mark gets a lot on this stage. Oh, that was the weirdest. Okay, you got it. Okay, the shy guys are making things weird. Okay, I don't mind that. That was actually really good DI by you. Oh, not there though. Okay, don't give him space, don't give him space, don't give him space, don't give him space. I gave him space. Yeah. Okay, Lex to Naren Center. Yep. Okay, that's definitely like that's definitely the common habit is Naren Center. Yeah. Yeah, near and center, yeah. You punished it a couple times when you did an extra dash dance in the corner, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm not tacking it. I'm just not tacking the up till him. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely been a big thing. Yeah. Oh, good. Look, he neared in center, but you dash dance around it here. Look. Right? Yep. There, there you're punishing it. That's all he's doing. He's just doing yeah, near and center. Like, exactly, dude. You, yeah, he got the there proper you, DI there. Was a there you go. Day. There you go. Beautiful. Look, he neared in center, right? And you side read. Mm hmm So, Nathan, like, like you know you're, you're adapting, right? You're just mm -hmm. not adapting quick enough. Yeah, I'm just, it's you still know? too slow. It's still too slow, right? Yeah. There's another nair. You block this time. Good job, Nathan. You're adapting. Right, you gotta give him. Are you giving him too much space? Oh, Again, no. that's so many sour knees no jump. Yeah, so I don't. So this back here, I don't mind as much. Why? Why? Because look, your back air is almost at the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're and not, his frames are gone. Static. His frames exactly. are gone. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that was wacky. Okay. Uh, I missed. I missed a uh, space. Oh. The, the Marth killer. Yeah. Also, he rolled past you, unfortunately. And, and go back. I want to see the roll past. uh just a classic <sighs> miss up yeah it's the just, first time it's the first time he whipped it out of this entire set it is it is it is yeah good for him good for him okay but i like your down tilt there okay don't give him the space okay good nice yeah he's just nearing if you punish his nair 
good. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how I, dude. We're playing so well. It, I, I, I told you that, that that's why I'm sad. That's that's why I'm just like <laughs> that's how close this set got in this game oh, in this game there. That's how like <laughs> oh my god, dude, you're playing amazing, dude. Okay. Oh beautiful Nathan. Merit. Kill him. Oh, oh good job. Oh beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. Oh, he rolled, he's scared. Oh, he did the Nair in center. You almost hey. punished him. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Okay, he messed up. Oh no. No, he got shy. You got shy guy, bro. Good DI. Oh my god. God, that shy guy fucked you, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see the shy guy. This shy guy fucked you. Look, you're in more hit lag. <laughs> oh my god. I just I realized that. Grabbed. I didn't realize in the heat in the moment. That sucks, bro. But, yeah. I mean, is there anything really to say, like, about... Because, like, it, it felt like much of the same. It was the Nair and center, and then the yeah. corner. Like, I want to go back, because I double jump back. Like, was the double jump back... Which double jumper? So, like, so I get up tilted. So, like, uh, after the shy guy bolter, so he, he grabs me. Oh, okay. So, and not this one. It, it's when uh, I get right sent off stage. So, uh, right here. A double jump back. Oh, was this... Yeah, it was a bad double jump. It was I mean, like, jump. was there anything I could have done? Could I dip lower? Because, like, I felt like that was the... Okay, but if you're going to double thing. jump back, why not aerial? I think I was trying to back air and, like, do a late back air or something. Oh, late back air. Like, or... No, you got to do it immediately. Did just better immediate there? Like, yeah. it's a risky spot to begin with. It is a risky spot. Like it just overall, this. it's a horrible situation. I mean, it is so a like go, so like go back to like to when I'm off stage on it, like initially. Cause so, uh, he hits me right here as a pause, like yeah. You have to like, like, like what could I like what could I do like could I have air dodged potentially you could have or... air dodged you could have just gone low and gone for the text too. I know going low is kind of scary. Yeah, like it just this entire spot is really shitty. It's just shitty. Yeah, I mean he's. If he doesn't kill you here, he's not doing his job. Like, you know? yeah, it's like, he can down tilt me and I'm in a bad spot. If he jabs me, I'm basically fucked. Yeah. But Forward smash really even puts him in a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's just a bad position. Yeah. I guess. I'm not really going to write anything for that one because that's just a bad spot. Like, there's yeah. not really much, like... I'd have to basically bank on him fucking up pretty much, yeah, but... Sure. So Keep pause it. It's just like okay, pause it. So I'll uh, be right back. Keep one second. Okay. Back. Sorry, and <laughs> there's a small off topic the jaguars mm -hmm. came back and won oh my god they came back from 27 to nothing to win 31 to 30 that's insane oh shit anyways <laughs> but like uh, so on a mental standpoint right here 
like, I still feel okay. Like, even after this. Like, th I think the only thing I really thought to myself, I'm just like, damn, that sucks. Like, yeah, that I'm not sucks, even down on myself. So I'm just like, damn. Yeah. You know, it was like, it's right there, but I'm not like, I'm not down on myself. And that was one thing I was pretty happy about because yeah. that sucks. I mean, I basically, like, the set was basically right there. I think oh, yeah, you could dude. say, like, one one grab like combo into me and the sets one so like it's it was literally one or two steps away yeah so like on that on that front i'm not like too okay. upset because I, I mean i basically played a per i wouldn't say a perfect like but you yeah. get what i mean by a perfect like two games. right okay, yeah for sure you, you yeah. get what i mean is that like i played as well as you could yeah absolutely uh, amazing yeah like I, I i i'm happy incredible. on that psyche standpoint yeah. You were gonna say something? No, no, no. That's incredible. You you just played. You I mean you just played? Yeah, you played amazing. You know, there was no lucky breaks there. You earned every stock. You know, mm -hmm. which you know. Yeah, just keep that in mind. You know. Yeah. Like you earned every stock. So. Yeah, it goes back to what we talked about with uh what I talked about about um, what is it? Play four stocks. Yeah. I that entire game. I played a good three and a half stocks. Mm. It was a good three and a half. Yeah. But that final, that final half stock, you know, that sometimes is all the difference. I've come. Yeah. It, it was just unfortunate. That. The shy guy kind of fucked you. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I don't try to put a blame on that. I'm just like, ah, oh, shit. That sucks. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, but yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh, that was a good okay. adjustment by him. That so was right a very there. good adjustment. Yeah. The, you know, it, like even in the set, I like it, in my mind, I knew I'm like, okay, that's actually like really good. Yeah. Because he didn't jab reset before, but Ooh, that's fair. Again, I'm not getting that tech. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That was good by him. Mm -hmm. This is more of the traditional Umar, uh, where he tries to finish with up B. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. Okay. Oh, beautiful stop. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, we know he wants to near and center. That's all he's doing. Yeah, we know that. Okay. Nice, you made it back. Okay, that was good coverage by him. I like that. I like yeah. it. it. It was an attempt. It was an attempt. Yeah. Okay, space, space, space. Don't give him space. Yep, I gave him space. He's narrowing. Oh, near and center, dude. That's, that's, all, that's though, all he's dude. doing. We 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 know what he's doing, dude. We That's all he's know. doing. He's not doing anything special. He's not. He's really not, dude. It, it's the same thing. Like not in like a cheesy way, but it's just like no. there's. I'm just running into it. Exactly. Okay. It worked out. It worked out. It wasn't worked the prettiest. Out, yeah. Okay, I like this. Okay. Good patience. He's still nearing. Yeah. That's all he's doing. Good. Oh, beautiful adjustment here. Look, you didn't go into center. When you're on the side platform, sometimes you just run into center. Yeah, you, I, I, you remember the high percent thing we talked about in the Yamasaki set about going to top oh, flat? Yeah, I got to top platform and stuff. You did. Beautiful, yeah. Make him chase you, yeah. I did it awesome. again. Awesome, and then you got center for it, and you got center for it. Yep, and all he's done, that's another thing all Umar has done. He's thrown out yeah. an air about five or six times in this, and they've all missed. Yeah, yeah, have all missed, right? You mm -hmm. punished a few, but you gotta you gotta make him pay for his life, right? Side B here is a really good, like, low effort punish. If do you think it's worth sure. writing do you think it's worth writing down or do you think we already yeah, kind of I think that's yeah. Low side B, low effort punish, right? Like it's just if you're just kinda like like you know he's nearing, then you don't know if you can get something side b's totally fine you know i'm all right uh side b low effort punish just do it just do it yeah just do just it. just yeah. throw it out there yeah because you Is hit it with it twice so yeah he's gotten hit like you said he's gotten hit by it yeah okay that's like six or seven missed nares. yeah You're over a hundred. 
Good, neutral, beautiful, neutral, dude. Going to the top platform, giving him space, though. Oh, yeah, that, that dash tag was not intentional. That was yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. It's still give hey, go back there. I wanted to see specifically. Sure. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so he goes to ledge. This is fine. Space. Do you think like the way dash back was too much? Like, could I have down something? Like, what what could I have done? Because well, right I, I felt like I gave up right? a little too much. So like, what could I have done now? Oh, okay. Let's so, let's go back. So like, because he he goes to ledge. Yeah. Okay. I'm zero. Okay, that's but, good. Yeah, that sounds you, fine. You don't have to move here. Like even what down here? Like even right here? Yeah, even right here you can hold down. Okay. If I you, mean, he could potentially grab depending on how long is my invincibility out. I just want to say. Right, right. But you hold down, you check what he does, right? During this mm -hmm. down, during you holding down, you check what he does. You see neutral get up, you pivot grab. Okay, you just it's more reactive. Yeah, it's more reactive. Exactly, it's reactive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just want to go backhand, so I'm invincible. I just want to see how long... I want to see how long my invincibility was for on that juncture. Good. Oh, you have a lot. You have a lot. Uh, Holy shit. It was basically until the forwarder came out. That's yeah. when it ran out. So, like... Is that worth writing down, just, like... Or anything like that? Or is that just kind of just... Um, well, okay. If you're really... If you think he's going to stall, you can just use your invincibility to ledge grab. Okay. I hadn't done that, like... I'm very selective on when I do it. I know it exists, yeah, yeah. but I've been definitely very selective. Definitely do it like once, you know, maybe once or twice a set. Like, it's not a, you know, it's not like a, a go-to option, but it's like a good, like, once or twice a set kind of thing. All right. Um, I'm going to do Invincible Falcon Trick once a set. Yeah. Yeah. Once or but twice. That's only, that's only after he's been getting around your you not giving him space thing, right? Um. I'll just write it just I'll just write it down. I'm not really gonna think too much about okay. it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just we'll I'll just put that in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just just something to throw in there. It's on yeah. paper. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh yeah, this crash cancel or this punish was not good on this forward air. You gotta jab that. Yeah, or jab. you try to jab it. Holy shit. But you didn't hold down, right? No, I didn't. There's no holding down there. Nice, Nathan. Okay, that's fine. You didn't get I was, punish, I was but... in for the I was looking for the roll in. Yeah. Not uh better? Yeah, yeah better, but you didn't hold down. Yep. Oh, that was sick. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I get I'm a so, I, I wanna go back real quick. So he's down there. Is it fine to double yeah. stomp it? I think it's fine. Yeah, double stomp. Yeah, I think I just I'm getting scared a little bit. Okay. Pro probably like I'd say mentally in this point, I would say my mental started to crack a bit. Where I was okay. like, I, it wasn't like a hard on myself type of fuck. I almost had one. It was just like damn, you know. Yeah. You you, you could sell you could sense a bit like the tide of the set shifting, and then also it like is. some. You could sense some desperation coming out because little bit, little bit, I, I had him yeah. on the ropes. And this is sort of like, again, that's the sort of mental thing is that I had him there, but he, I didn't close it out. Like, yeah. it just, is there a good, like, I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of a difficult question, like, to answer or, like, ask. But, like, yeah. when that happens, like, when it's, you had it right there and it just, it, you don't close it out, like how can like you mentally reset to okay. where like you're okay because th this is where i would say like it felt like things were starting to starting to come apart right yeah. here not like in like a nato it just like it just right right it felt like it was starting to give for sure for sure well think about this like um you still have to earn every stock you take from him right definitely so you might as well try and play your best like um and i don't know it's that's tough but try to make it about the game like we were saying pick pick something right i'll just write it down again remember to think about the game yeah it's still it's still the marth right um to um, think um 
about about the game about the yeah. game and characters. Yeah, the, I mean, mainly, you're totally capable of making two reads and tying this game up. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's always a possibility. You know, but that's mm -hmm. only a possibility if you're if you're present. You know, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I don't know. Just think about that. You know. Okay. Yeah, I could just. I guess it's because I've had this happen many times. That I've been clutched yeah, on there. Rough. Like, <laughs> just me. <laughs> Zope saying. Uh, Peter saying. Just me. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Peter? It's good yeah. to see. Like, I mean, uh, there, there's some of it, but like, I get, I get the idea. It's just like, sometimes just, just fucking ignore it kind of, or just Yeah, like, but I think, I mean, it, it'll get better, it'll get better over time because like, remember you could pick a couple habits that he has. Yeah. You know, and you could, those, those, those habits still apply game five. Mm -hmm. They don't just go away. Right. He's been nearing in center. That's that's been the bread and butter pretty much the that's entire. That's been the bread and butter, right? So that's not all of a sudden going to go away in game five, right? Yeah, he's been so doing. Just that. remember that he's still the same player, like that you beat. You know, there, obviously he's adjusting and whatnot, but there are still things that you picked up throughout the set, right? Um, and you know, when in doubt, you can just look for those things that you let you scouted, right? Because you yeah. still have a game plan going to game five. Yeah. So. Yeah. What I'm writing down for this in particular is he's still the same player even in game four. Just yeah. use what you know. And yeah, use like what you know. and what we know is that what we know is that I've given up a lot when he's in the corner. Yeah. And that he nears a lot when he's in center. Those are like right. the two real crucial things right. that and, we have and, taken from it. Yeah. And if he for some amazing thing he adapts and he doesn't do any of those two things holy shit good for him he yeah that game five. that's that's five. just he earned it yeah but the things we know we still know from from game four to five we still know it. nothing nothing you know what i mean so keep that in mind yeah i'm just running in it like he's there's nothing crazy going on it's just yeah. he's just adjusted it slightly yeah just slightly. okay Hundred percent, just rough. Oh, your dashings have been really nice, Nathan. Yeah, thank Ooh, you. There we go. Nice. Yeah, your neutrals here is good. I don't mind that stone. We kind of have to go for something there. Okay, good there. Be patient. Good job. Be patient. Oh, what that, the that fuck? meant to be, that meant to be in there. I know, but you got a phantom jab. Yeah, just <laughs> about every weird thing that's happened has happened yeah, to me. <laughs> like that's unfortunate. I'm not even mad. I'm more just like, damn. Yeah, I really didn't realize how many crazy weird interactions I had in this set. Yeah, like a million lightnings. It's like the melee gods just didn't just didn't want it. I guess. Yeah. Nice. Oh, a good grab, man. I'm amazed I mashed out of that. <laughs> that was a fucking I want to win match. It was good. Oh, this movement. Oh, never mind. Okay, nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you barely squeaked that out. Yeah, it, that was like near grab pretty much. Right here. This is still winnable. Mm -hmm, very winnable. Yeah. Okay. Don't give give up space. space. Don't give up space. I gave up. But I like that near. Oh, big me. I didn't double it. I didn't yeah. up air or double it. Oh, you're. Oh, you got it. Okay, I like the oh just able to show grab that. Okay, so good. Oh I messed up. Oh the slide off. Oh we caught it. That was nice. Oh shit. He fucked oh, it. You hit it. He, he oh, fucked shit. he fucked it up. He tried going oh, for the God. finisher. Nathan, you were talking like this set wasn't you What the hell, Nathan? You were it, saying like you broke down. This is glass stock. In my mind, I feel like I did because what I've. Because uh, in my last stock game. In my mind, I felt like it, it because I've lost both of these. I, because I've had a knack recently of coming back from ridiculous deficits like this. I know, but I, you made it I've, sound like he three stocked you last game. Yeah. Like, 
but fuck? but but yeah, both games three and four were fucking close. <laughs> Holy shit! This is competitive set, yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I willed this oh set my, back. What the fuck? That upgrade? Oh my god! Oh, I like. See, I don't mind that, but he didn't air in plays for once. It was the one time he didn't, and he did. I did. What I didn't did? attack I didn't yeah. attack the up B, which this. Oh, you did. That is attackable and I didn't do it. Yeah. I'll just write this down. attack Marth. Up B, uh, Marth up B after side B. Um, after side B. Because this has been an age old thing in our just our inner meta when yeah. we play is that that interaction in particular. Yeah. Like um, I just yeah. don't I just don't I don't opt to take it. Yeah, I might have to go through this last game kind of fast, but that's no worries. We've been at almost an hour and a half. Yeah, but okay, it is I'll a three. Is a it. three stock game though. Like, oh, I see. Okay, this is yeah, a, just, a three okay. stock. I'll go through it real fast then. Okay. Yeah. Um, good double down to for him. Good job going to neutral, going to center. He went under. Not bad. I gotta check that up to I guess. Oh, shit, that ground wrench. Ah, you did it again. Mm -hmm. You have this like this double jump. Here. You did a double jump back. Yeah. Second time. Well, he knows you can't grab ledge here because you're facing the wrong way, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Like air dodge, maybe. Yeah, air dodge. Nice. Uh, I'll write that down. Okay, not holding down. Nice. Oh, that, no. that was a flub. Yeah. This is where I'd say, I'm just going to say this on a mental standpoint, this is where it finally started to kind of crack. Yeah. Good double jab. Missed the punish there. Yeah, this is still winnable. Nice. Oh, barely. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's ready. Okay. We got a side B a little more here. Good grab. Giving him space. Yeah. Get a lot of straight nares, but not much out of it. You gotta mix up a little more straight knees. Mm hmm Yeah, just a little more. I'll just write down uh, a few more straight straight knees. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, just gotta be a little more patient on this last set. If yeah, that's get, a mental note I would make is keep patient, you know? Just be more patient. Like, yeah. like anything else or no? Well, I mean, the, the, well, okay, so what helps you be patient in game? Um, Extra dash dance help you get, help, help you stay patient, right? Usually, yeah. Usually the tie dance. Okay, think about extra dash dance, mixing up your movement, and then maybe something else like. Uh, just watch for a second, right? Uh, all right, I want to write this down. So extra dash chance, um, wave dashes. Yeah, whatever kind of helps you or watch, play the game at your own pace a little bit more. You got to remember those those things like that that it can actually apply in game. You know. Yeah, what makes you play at your own pace? That's why some people they do like multi shines or something, just like because it it helps them like. They can reset because this is like they can play their kind of game. Yeah, yeah. 
So you're saying like I have to get back to playing. I I, I is I, I'll do it in the third person sense here. This is where I have to get back to like playing Nathan Sandwich Melee, basically. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like it's like if you're trying to play Niners football, like you have to mm-hmm. like you have to find ways of like what what's what's something that gets you to play your type of game, basically. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I wasn't really playing my type of game, at least in this final game. Yeah, at least in this final game. Yeah. Okay, keep going. But that's a good note. Yeah, you're just kind of going in now at right, pretty obvious times. Yeah, and this is what we talked about. You remember what we talked about at the very beginning of yeah. what part of your game suffers the most uh, when your right, metal breaks? Okay. Yeah, your it's patience. the patience. I will the just, patience. I just, I will want to bull rush in. Yeah, it's got okay. it's got me a lot of mileage over the years. I'm not gonna deny yeah. it, but that that is usually the first thing to go is yeah. that I'll just want to go in and just hit you like good no well now we have an awareness of it right yeah awesome good so now we know we have some cues now that we can use to, to kind of reel that in yeah all right patient patience gives when mental breaks all right because otherwise you're like you're um your decision making is not terrible, you know. No, That's it's great. not been bad. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have good decision making and worse patience. You know, that's a, I mean, that's, dude, you could have. Imagine if you had like terrible, like most players, most players, their decision making just goes down. Oh yeah, they just they'll just they'll do something completely. Yeah, they'll random. charge forward smash or some shit, or they're like, they'll go for like a dumb edge edge guard, right? Mm-hmm like decision making but like you're you're fortunate in the fact that you have good poise in that regard right Mm -hmm. it's just the patience yeah yeah and then this is where it kind of like it stings a bit because i like i wasn't even sad or upset i'm just like damn (laughs) yeah you know i was like there, there's definitely a, a bit of emotions but like they weren't like destructive set or anything like i'm just like damn that that sucks yeah, yeah but yeah. i can't be too upset about it like i mean that's why i wanted to go that like w- at the moment like after the set was done mm-hmm. i was like this is like a perfect set to go over gotcha. because like it really is yeah. i knew i played very well and like you know there like i i feel like there's not much i need to completely change about my foundation no, i no. feel like what i did like if i just tweak a couple things and if i'm doing this early on yeah. that's like in the and this is kind of what I, i'm treating this entire year as just a work in progress and like you're saying in january i pushed umar to the brink yeah. in january That's a good start of the year what what's to say in december 2023 where will i be then like i yeah, could be exactly. beating him at that time so oh, i mean easily yeah like definitely. i'm seeing this and i'm like i feel like i still won even though i lost at the end of the day because i i did this in fucking january that's yeah, something that's, i'm pretty i'm pretty happy about so that's amazing yeah yeah that's for sure but cool um, um yeah you I think you only need a couple notes. I mean, so I guess um, what is it? Um, uh, so it's a uh, in the what we learned. I'm gonna put so don't give Marth space at ledge. Yeah, don't give Marth space at uh, ledge. Marth, um, space at ledge. Um, when metal when metal break uh when metal breaks, patience uh goes away. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, that's a really big big thing for you. Yes. Uh, patience. And, uh, uh, goes away um the edge guarding uh, how should i phrase it like uh that's a hard one to phrase I don't um know. Uh, marth off stage don't live and die on mu- neutral get up yeah there you go yeah, yeah go. and that's kind of a hard one but i get your point what you're going with it marth off stage yeah. um don't live and die on uh, neutral uh, get up yeah and um, 
Make sure extra dash dance, extra dash dance. Uh, extra dash dance. Anything else on that or no? No, that's good. Okay, um, and then uh, do you want me to just go over the general note, like the the entire sure. thing? Because then we're yeah, now sure. at the end of this. So um, uh, we uh, preset notes. We literally had preset notes on this. So the first thing we had was, I mean, obviously we're gonna go with the first things, which was um think okay. about um uh, how to play at a high level for a full set i think i did now thinking about it yeah, now you did you for, did. Yeah. for a good full set i played really well um yeah, yeah how to edge guard marth better i think mean, i think we kind of talked that over quite a bit sure. um, when the set uh is a few hits away from ending how do you stay zoned in uh, and that's kind of i mean it goes back to like on the last hit of like when I was on last talk in game three and game four, like yeah. just, just remember to stay focused, more yeah, objective. For sure. All right. So now here's some of the notes. So on the middle end, exactly. think yeah. about the melee and matchup, uh, take it back to melee, acknowledge emotion, but don't let it, uh, don't let it control you. Um, what part of your game suffers the most when the metal breaks? We already answered that, which is great. And then uh, game one battlefield, don't back turn at zero per, uh, at zero versus Marth. Don't give Marth space when when he cliff hangs. Uh, uncle punch it. If you hit, uh, if you get hit at zero, um, off stage by Marth. The last thing you said. What did you say? If you get hit at zero off stage by Marth, you can retaliate. Yeah, do you I think it's worth writing down actually? Um. Yeah. Actually, I would go. Yeah. What I would do right. Pretty much. Just have a go play a good level a level nine Marth, hit him off stage, and then have him up be into you while you're hanging on the ledge at zero with no visibility. Yeah, so you know? if you get hit by Marth, um, off stage at uh, zero, you can retaliate. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, uh, not ideal to neutral get uh get up at low percent uh versus yeah. Marth off stage. Uh, mix an extra dash chance as a timing mix up. Um, mm -hmm. Remember to trust your spacing. Uncle Punch it. Uh, make Marth use his double jump off stage. I'm going to put that one down. Okay. And then as a side note, just remember he's narrowing a lot in, in, in the center of the stage. Like, that's an observation that I would just. Actually, just I'm going to add that to the neutral get up note. Just make him double okay. jump. And then. Uh, I'll write Umar likes to nair at center. Yeah, that's just a good player note for you to have. Uh, at yeah. center, because I will more than likely bump into him again. Um, right. So, um, make uh, Mar make Marth play around off stage. Uh, remember, side B exists. Um, when I get when I get excited, remember to mix up the timing. Uh, Marth uh, Marth aerial dash forward. I'll write that. I'm writing that one down just because. Uh, I'll write that down in a list of Uncle Punch shit I want to do after. Yeah, okay. But yeah, there's like, yeah. because I, I've been Uncle Punching everything and it's helped. Um, cool, cool. Three point up air and non fastball knee when they dash in. Uh, crowd, ble crowd ledge, extra dash dance. Uh, game yeah. two FT. Remember, uh, remember to hack stash. Remember to no tech off of initial throw. Make him jab reset. Uh, don't make it too obvious when you're trying to knee. Remember to hold down when he's cornered. Make him try beat your cc metal umar only needs two to uh two times to figure it out uh try to tech air dodge more uh metal note uh change up timing when marth dashes under you um game three what's one time uh what's one thing your opponent will change what what are you going to do to adjust uh neutral get up is okay um is okay to do um <clears throat> on your uh, issues yeah, uh, yeah, neutral gap is okay, uh, damn, where is it? Yeah, on Yoshi's, um, and then, uh, middle note, he likes to dare in center, which we have gone over. Pretty yeah. much, yeah, that's yep. good. Game. Awesome, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, this is... There's a, there's a lot really more, there's a lot more, but I think you get yeah, the but general the simple idea. simple stuff you can apply right away, you know? Yeah. Some, like, three of those things you can apply right away, you know? Yeah, so, like, here's just the big six, so I'm gonna keep it the big six, and <laughs> we kind of strung it on a lot longer than I thought, but, so... Don't get more space uh, to ledge when mm -hmm. mental uh, when your mental breaks. Uh, patience goes away. Marth off stage. Don't live and die by it, uh, or don't live and buy, die by neutral get up. Make him make him double jump. Extra dash chance. Uh, if you get hit by Marth off stage at uh, at zero, you can retaliate. And then Umar likes to nair at center. 
Ginkgo's are good. Perfect. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Nice. There's so much. Like I've actually this, this is probably one of the best analysis that <laughs> you'll so. say that every time. <laughs> it gets yeah, it gets better. I'm serious. But that's I'm a, funny, dude. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, but that's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna happy to hear. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream now.